Yeah, 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 yeah. We got the lights on here. Summer Gonzalez, that's always coming at you live from Classics Recording Studios for the On Point with Summer Show, where it's always summertime, baby. And we got the amazing, amazing Shahid in the building today. I couldn't wait, couldn't wait. <laughs> that was him you heard at the top of the show. Lights on, baby. That's right, that's right. How you doing? I'm doing good. How about yourself? Good. It's so good to have you. Thank you for having me. I'm honored to be here. Yeah. I, we have so much to talk about. Okay. I want you to, first of all, give a little bit of information to some fans out, some people out there who may not um, be aware of who Shahid is. Okay. Why don't you let them know? All right, cool. Well, my name is Shahid. I'm born and raised in Detroit. Now I'm living down here in Miami, trying to make it happen. Um, my name is Shahid, you know, it's broken down pretty much from the first three letters. The S-H-A, it stands for superhuman automatically. You know, when you hear the, the words superhuman, you automatically associate that with someone who can uh, overcome insurmountable odds. And, it, and it's exactly what that is. You know, I'm trying to, like, destroy that word impossible. Mm -hmm. So when you hear Shahid, you automatically associate that with superhuman automatically. The person who doesn't believe in the word impossible. So that's what I'm all about. I love that. Yeah. I really do. And you know, we I was listening to your music all day today. Um, and your lyrics are tight and you, you are spitting about that yeah, big time. Yeah. I mean, um, in one of the your songs you were like, I'm not um, a rapper, I believe. Yes. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not a rapper, I'm a hip hop artist. Yes. I paint, paint yeah. <laughs> paint what? I paint pictures. Yeah. <laughs> I don't recite. Yeah, you don't recite, that's what it was. Yes. I love that. Thank you. Yeah, where did you find this ability? How, how did you? Uh, I think, I'm not sure if it was if it was genetics mm -hmm. or, I, I'm thinking it's genetics. You know, my uh, grandfather is Lawrence Payton, the way he was. He was part of the uh, four tops. Unfortunately, he passed away when I was younger. But, mm -hmm. you know, from that point on, you know, I just have been influenced by him and you know, people in his side of the family and, you know, other artists. And I think my style just evolved from there. Yeah. And you know you can you you are uh, I can hear a little bit of old school in you too. Mm -hmm. You know how old are you? I'm 25. Okay, so you're 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 young. Yeah, how old do I look? Yeah, well, you you look you look about 12. <laughs> Honestly, I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with you. On your pictures, uh -huh. you look older. Okay. So I I didn't really know if you were some other person in here um, trying to portray Shahi. That's why I asked you about that lyric to yeah. make sure we're gonna get it. <laughs> No, don't worry, it's me, it's me. <laughs> I'm never going to cut my picture hair off. I yeah. literally look 12. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's good. It's, it's, it's a good look because there's a lot of uh, young, young artists out there, you know, coming up uh, in the business and um, they're, they're, they're business owners, mm -hmm. basically. Your music these days is not about just getting on stage and performing anymore. Right, right. you are really got to get deep down into it you know, from your soul and right. you're really serious about it. Right. Exactly. Yeah, it looks like you are you have a lot of followers on Twitter. Yes, yes. I guess they love good music. Yeah. You know, I do my best to come up with something new all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm I'm looking so forward to uh your mixtape mm -hmm. release party. Let's talk a little bit about that, what you got planned for that. Yeah, we actually have um I'm celebrating my album release. It's gonna be May eighth, downtown Miami at the Epic Hotel. It's gonna be at the lounge called the Kima Lounge. Okay. And we were very excited about that. We have it's being hosted by uh Siggy Deals Jackson. Mm -hmm. So he's coming through showing us some love. Um we have a couple of independent artists from around the country who's gonna come and perform for us, you know. And I'm just excited. And of course you're invited, you know, and you whoever know, else you want to bring. <laughs> you know I'm gonna be there. <laughs> yeah. I'm always wanting to be in the building when there's something exciting and, and new going on in the entertainment industry, yeah. you know why you grind the way you do because um you know other artists listen to the show maybe to get advice or you know but mostly the truth go the, the the show goes out to the truth mm -hmm. and you know i like i like for them to know how hard the artists are grinding back here but you're twofold oh yeah <laughs> because you're active duty coast guard yes that's right so you're representing like everything today yes yes so let everything. them know what your grind is for let them know the grind is for my passion for music you know it's just something that's been instilled in me since i was a, a child mm -hmm. and 
seeing my grandfather, you know, go through all that success, you know, I just want to keep that legacy going. Mm -hmm. And that's why I grind the way I do, you know, for family, for friends, and for people who think I can't do it. Mm -hmm. I want to show them that I can. That I can. You know, from 2004 is when I actually started. Okay. And then we, I was in a, in a little group called New Era, my other siblings. Yeah. And unfortunately, yeah, it was this band because mm -hmm. I ended up going away to college. Mm -hmm. And you know, from that point on, after I graduated, I just couldn't let, I couldn't put it down. And I always hear melodies in my head. I'm always writing lyrics, mm -hmm. and I just gotta, I have, I have to get the music heard. Mm -hmm. You know, this, these type of styles are, are rare to find. You know, you have your Kanye, which is cool. I respect Kanye. You have your Kendrick Lamar from the West Coast. Yeah, I respect artists like that. And I feel like it's my duty to come from you know, the Midwest, Detroit, Michigan, and try to, you know, elevate that city again. Bring back Motown. Bring, bring Motown back. Exactly. I mean, not that it ever <laughs> does, but, you know, keep it on the map. I oh, guess. yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, Eminem can't do it alone. He needs some help. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But way to represent, though. I mean, uh, I love it. I love your, your attitude and everything. Thank you. Um, again, your lyrics are tight. Um, that song that I was playing, uh, Lights On, but... Uh, before before I talk about that, because I'm gonna play the whole thing in a second. Okay. Um, I got another song of yours mm -hmm. that I like too, but we're gonna. Can you spit a little bit like off the top? I can, can I can you always, do? I can always spit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and that the song that I like is um, Mr. I be getting. Mr. It in. I be getting it in. Yeah. Can you do a little bit of that? Oh yeah, you want me to do Mr. I be getting it in? <laughs> just, just like a little bit. I mean, if you can. Oh yeah, I can do always it. do that. <laughs> you ready? You ready? <laughs> Put your hands up, Mr. I be getting it in. No, I'm not a pilgrim, so believe I ain't settled in. I won't. No, nah, leave right there. That's enough. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you need. That's it. That's, That's it. All you, need. you know what? I was like, the thing is, those lyrics, they they, they gotta be heard. I'm gonna play it later on on Facebook. I'm gonna oh. I'm gonna put it up. Yeah, because. <laughs> so, they ain't ready. Yeah, that's it. That's <laughs> why you said stop. They're not. Yeah. Some, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So will they be able to hear that on your? They will. Be. It's actually, it's it's uh, first track on the um, project. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what's the name? The name is the collage. The collage. Yes. Talk about how you came up with the name for that. Well, we all know that uh, a collage is a uh, various amount of pictures put together to make one statement, mm -hmm. and that's exactly what it is. It's a bunch of emotions that I had, you know, different moods, and I all put it together, and it all flows. Mm -hmm. And you can kind of tell from the beginning of the of the project, you know, starts off kind of upbeat. And then it kind of slows down from that point on. You know, yeah. From the moves, you can tell my moves are changing. And that's how I came up with the collage. Stop the troops. What's up, troops? <laughs> <laughs> I'm here, you know, I'm representing to the fullest. You know, active duty, Coast Guard, you know. Yeah. We're here. And thank you for your service. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. No yeah. problem. Yeah. Um, talk about your management team. Yes, yes. My manager, uh, Kay Reyna, you know, we got together um, last year in September. From that point on, we just started rolling because you know, I wanted to get this music heard. You know, she's actually doing a very good job at management and you know, telling me what to say, what not to say, keeping me, you know, just keeping me grounded. And my uh, publicist, uh, Kelly Shaw, and you know, also Kina, you know, they're doing their job of you know keeping getting the word out there, you know, social networks and through word of mouth, which is the most important. You know, I, I rarely get online and check stuff out on the social media, but word of mouth, when you come up to me and say, hey, Shahi, you already heard that news track, you know, whatever, oh, yeah, check it out. Yeah, that's how I usually hear stuff. So word yeah. of mouth to this day is the most important part of getting something out. It is, because me too, that's the way I, I heard about you, you know. Um, it's it's amazing the team that you have behind you. Yeah. They are professionals. They, they are. got everything to me right on time. I mean, like way back, we've had you scheduled for a while. Oh, so that's good. Yeah, and so they've been taking really good care of you. You and I didn't even talk until this minute when right. we walked into exactly. the studio. Exactly. So they handled it. They really handled it, and, and they got you here. And, you know, big ups to them. Big up, um, big up. Yeah. Right, y'all hold me down. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Definitely. Let's talk about uh, lights on. Okay. Is that about anyone in particular? No, or? not anyone in particular, no. Okay. It, it was just one of those moves that I was having when I was thinking about my past mm -hmm. and you know, putting it together with my future and then it just came up. Yeah. Yeah, that's one of those things. No one in particular. Because somebody might think it's about them. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> they might. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> hey, where's well, music? You can interpret yeah, it any way you want. Exactly. Yeah. You just put it out there. And you just keep doing what you do because oh, it's yeah. good.
So um, we're gonna listen to Light Song by Shahi. So how do you have time to juggle um, your, your your day career mm -hmm. with your night, well, your other career? Yeah, it all comes down to time management. Now, if, if I'm at work and then I get a couple ideas at work, I usually write down a little pad that I carry around with me. Mm -hmm. um, when I get home, if I'm not too tired or you know whatever, something like that, I would usually write something down there at the time. Yeah. Or I would just go and listen to an instrumental while I'm riding the car. Yeah. And then that's how I usually, it just comes to me. So it's all about time management. Yeah. Yeah. That's, what, that's how I get those different emotions, different moves up. I mean, because I, I just don't have any time. To, there's not enough time in the day for me, you right. know. And I'm just like, you know, I'm listening to the music of the artist that's going to be on on the way to work. And then you, so I guess I do try to manage it. Hard, so it's it is, it is. But if you really want it, you know, you just yeah. go for it. So yeah, it's something to sacrifice. Yeah, we don't sleep. That's what it is. No sleep. No sleep. Um, talk about where you think you see yourself five years from now. Five years from now, mm -hmm. I'll be one of the greatest hip hop artists to ever do it. Mm -hmm. I can see it. I, I had a dream about it. Mm -hmm. A lot of family members seen it. You know, I, I'm not gonna um, go too far into it, but when I get a haircut mm -hmm. and all of this is like completely lined up, and my auntie, my auntie Lorraine, I'm gonna call her name. Mm -hmm. She says, um, "You look like Barack Obama," and mm -hmm. I don't see it to this day. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> if she sees that, you know, yeah. I just see myself being somewhere great, somewhere in, in the books. Yeah, mm -hmm. you will. Know, uh, you magazine. It's about dining, dancing, and designing, and it covers West Palm Beach, Dade, and, and Broward counties. All three counties, letting you know what's going on, what's up, all around. And also the thing that I, I love, love, love about it is that they highlight upcoming artists. Oh, nice. Yeah, and you know, that that's amazing. I mean, to be able to be in 3DP Magazine and Kevin Summer from All Hot Summer talk about you. <laughs> That's amazing. Anyway, get at 3DP Magazine at 3DPMagazine.com or you can reach them at 561-541-0456. If you want to get your company or your artist in 3DP Magazine, baby. Yeah. Okay. Tell everyone where they can get your music and everything because you got a, like a long line of Yes, um, my music will be available May 8th, and you can download it from my official website at www.shaheedworld.com, and there's going to be an icon that says download. Click there, and just go ahead and collect. Go and collect? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I want to see something. I want to read something from your bio Okay. that, that I, I thought was so cool. Um, it's like your vision... Now I'm not going to be able to read this. I'm not going to be able to see it. Shahid's innovative style, charismatic delivery, truthful messages, and intoxicating beats reveal his wide range of talent. And, you know, there's something about that and you deciding to uh, have Shahid world. Mm -hmm. And, again, repeating... Your, the first three letters of your name, mm -hmm. the meaning of that. Mm -hmm. You have created this whole concept. So you're branding, you're branding yourself. Yes. You are branded yes. with that. And I just wanted to ask you, did you know that you were branding yourself when you did that? Or was it just like something that came from within? It's just something that came from it. I didn't, I didn't plan it. Mm -hmm. I didn't think about it. It just, it just happened naturally. Mm -hmm. And the guy who... Um, who got the song Cool Flow with me, mm -hmm. Nate Man, he actually designed my logo for me. Mm -hmm. It's the S surrounded around <clears throat> inside of an atom, and inside the atom it is the headphones, and it represents, it stands for living and breathing music. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Thank you. That's nice. That's on the cover of your, uh, This is, yeah, this on the cover, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I want people to know that I live and breathe music. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's Shahi World, baby. You need your own show. <laughs> you need your own show, and I'll come on your show. <laughs> Not a problem at all. Oh my gosh. I want to talk to you about your military, mm -hmm. your military background, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, 
How long did you say you've been in? I've been in since oh nine. Yeah. Okay. So where all have you been stationed? Um, I started off in Cape May, New Jersey, where we do our boot camp at. And then from that point, I was first stationed in Miami on a, a cutter. You know, it was a 110 foot boat. Mm -hmm. We go under wavy and stuff like that. And then I went to A school, which you know to learn my actual job out in California. And then when we got done with that, doing EMT training and things, and then I was stationed back in Miami, and now I work at the air station. Okay. Yeah, so it's it a cool gig. Yeah, I mean, but you know what? You're you're explaining all that. You have your music, mm -hmm. but you also you went you went to college. You mm -hmm. you finished college. Yeah. What is your degree? Biology. <laughs> Okay, because you know, I was trying to fit. How many hats can a person have, seriously? Yeah, where one is a big one. Yeah, so biology, yes. does that in, does that have anything to do with what you do in the it military? Does. It okay. does. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, so you are using that. Yes, yes. My current job is a health service technician. Okay. We do uh, you know, a lot of blood draws. It's like pretty much like a doctor's aid, mm -hmm. you know, and that, and that coincides with my major. Biology studies yeah. life, so I get to learn all that at one time. Living and breathing music as well along all the way. All together, all together. So when you go underway, do you still go underway no, now? Not, oh, okay. No. Is that a good thing or do you miss it? That's a great thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because I was going to say, oh, I don't, you know, because I was in the Air Force, I'm not really uh, like boat, I don't like that. Yeah. But yeah, so, but when you when you were mm -hmm. out, out to sea, I actually wrote a lot of my uh, mixtape when I was actually underway. You know, okay. was in the middle of the ocean is just you don't have anything else to do. Yeah. You know, the, the sight is you know, you know, animals. Only thing is just you and your crew and marine life. Yeah. That's it. So yeah, it was a, a memorable experience. Yeah. And um, do you miss those? Probably the people. I miss some of the people, yeah, and I also miss the places that we travel, you know, yeah. we travel to the Bahamas, uh, Dominican Republic, down to Haiti, you know, we've been in a lot of good places to yeah. see a lot, yeah. That's the only aspect of it that I miss. Yeah. 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 But I'm happy where I am now. Yeah. Good. Yeah. That's great. I can give it, uh, I can give it music 100%. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> so, well, now that you're here in Miami, I mean, of all places to uh, be stationed, I mean, mm -hmm. well, you know what, though, the Coasties, you guys get pretty good assignments because you got to be near the water. We have to be here, right. We have some marine maritime service. Yeah, yeah so, water, yeah. hello. Yeah. Get a clue. It's like, yeah. you ain't never going to be in the desert like nope. I was. Nope. I mean, that's you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, um, let me ask you about, um, who, who would you say influences you most? in your career? I'll say my mom and my dad. They, they really inspire me most. Okay. You know, the way that they're, they're goal-oriented and they're driven to get their goals accomplished and that, that was instilled upon me. Mm -hmm. And I'm taking that to, to the grave when you're going. Yeah. yeah, definitely. I love you. Your attitude, your 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 writing ability. Thank you. Um, and just your whole team behind you and everything is very professional. I can't wait to see you and get your, a copy of your mixtape, The Collage, dropping May 8th. Don't miss it. You guys locally in Miami, go check it out. I'll be posting the flyer up on my page and he'll, he'll be having it up all over his and everything. So once again, um, Shahi, thank you so much for taking time to come no out. No problem. Thank you, you for having me. I had a great time. Yeah, come. Uh, <laughs> you still gotta get that. He's still trying to get beat. It's a great water, by the way. Yeah, great water. <laughs> again, Shahi, thanks again so Thank much. You so much. Yeah, no doubt. And again, to the troops, God bless you guys wherever you're stationed. And remember, we're praying for you and we're asking for your you to get home safe. Mwah. Peace. K K K K K K Cashmere. Yeah. The collage. See, I'm not a rapper, I'm a hip hop artist. I don't recite, I paint pictures, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. Mind over money, money over matter. Witness the crunch time with my teeth in the batter. Uh, human life form, housing the X Factor. I run over quarterback niggas, call me the sacker. I'm on that elevator and pick up a book shit. You on that Neverland, straight fake Captain Hook shit. 
get your mind right Work on some new skills Cause all that old stuff blowing away like windshields mm. Moving at the speed of light, can't catch them Test me, my foot going up the back door Wreck them These dudes is butterfingers, can't intercept them I'll be in the laboratory making hits like traffic collisions When I put them out, they fly like birds do So I make it to where you gotta come back like curfew I did it all alone, no assistance necessary Way I play this game is by my lonesome, solitary So you can eat it, leave it, even delete it But in the end, I always rise from the darkness Phoenix, beats, Phoenix. I make hits I be getting it in, then I put them on I be getting it in, then I show them off I be getting it in, then I put them on I be getting it in, then I show them off Mr. 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 I be getting it in Mr. 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 I be getting it in Mr. 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 I be getting it in No, it ain't no stopping me, I'm Mr. I be getting it in your hands up for Mr. I be getting it in No, I'm not a pilgrim, so believe I ain't settling I want the best of everything this world has to offer To be the only person